Why would wolves appear? I in the crevice of mountains. The young man lighted his torch, trying to scare off the wolves. I in the light of the fire. Instead of being scared away, the wolves stepped forward. Point one of them looked very familiar. It gave a howl. The wolves moved back. The young man raised his torch to look carefully. He exclaimed, "Isn't that the wolf I saved before?" This is a story that took place in Guangxi in the 20th century. Once upon a time, there was a man named Bob Da who was picking herbs in the mountains as he always did. He heard the cry of a wolf. He moved on dot and got closer dot to where the sound was coming from. Bob felt strange. How is this sound coming from the ground? Bob got close enough dot to see a large cave ahead. The cave was less like an animal excavation and more like a natural formation. There was a wolf inside, hissing. This wolf had been howling for so long, but no other wolves that had come to help. It seemed that this wolf that had been sent out to scout that four areas that the pack hadn't visited because it wasn't familiar with the terrain. It had accidentally fallen into this cave. The lower half of the wolf's body may have been cut dot by sharp rocks next to the cave. Looking at the wolf in front of him, then at the backpack full of herbs, Bob thought long and hard. Dot, isn't that what herbs are for? Bob couldn't bear to let the wolf die here. Dot, so he decided to save it. The wolf looked at Bob. Perhaps he had seen what Bob was up to. Dot, or just because his voice had gone hoarse. Bob, anyway, looking at the approaching Bob, it surprisingly did not make any extra moves. Dot, but quietly lay down in the hole. Bob took out his climbing rope. Dot, and tied one end to a nearby tree. While holding the other end himself, Bob decided to risk going down. Dot, and bringing the wolf up first, he descended slowly. Dot, saw that the wolf did not attack. Dot, he then dared to land. Next, he just had to tie the rope to the wolf. Dot, go up first. Dot, and then drag the wolf up. These operations went very well. The wolf made no resistance. With Bob dragging the wolf out of the cave, the first step of the rescue was completed. Next step that was to heal the wolf's injured leg. Bob took out the herbs that had the power to stop bleeding. He crushed them and put them onto the wolf's injured leg. Then, Bob made some barriers around the cave dot to prevent other animals from falling in it. After all this, Bob was ready to leave. He couldn't stay here any longer. The wolves might hear the calls dot or follow the scent. Before leaving, Bob took out his lunch dot and gave it to the wolf. Then he went back down the hill. Point one day, Bob went up to the mountains to collect herbs as usual. Dot after the rain, dot, but encountered a landslide. Bob accidentally fell down the mountain dot and hung on a tree on the cliff face. The cliff was too high dot for him to climb up. Bob took out his rope and tied it onto the tree. Started to climb down, move carefully, step by step. Suddenly, dot he vaguely heard some wolf growls. Oh no, dot am I fell into the wolf's lair? Looked at the wolves around him. Dot Bob had to be vigilant, but the wolves didn't seem to want to attack him. Bob saw that one of the wolves looked familiar. That's the one he saved earlier. Bob the wolf also recognized Bob. It threw the wild fruit in its mouth to Bob. Bob knew dot that wolves are clever. The wolf would do this meant. It regarded Bob as a friend. Bob picked up the food. The wolf roared. The surrounding wolves started to retreat. Only Bob and the wolf stayed. The wolf walked to Bob dot and rubbed against his trousers. Then it headed for a crack in the cave. Seeing Bob didn't move, that the wolf stopped dot and turned around to bark at Bob twice. Bob sensed the wolf's meaning. It was asking him to follow. It dot so Bob followed. Looking at the footprints on the road, these wolves must had roamed the area regularly. Dot as they made their way, the level mountain road gently sloped. When Bob obviously noticed that the path dot was gradually moving upwards, the road ahead dot became cleared in the sunlight. The wolf and Bob walked out of the cave. The wolf did not stop dot. It still led the way dot. Bob stopped it. Here is okay. Further on, you may meet humans. Bob told the wolf seriously. He wasn't sure if it understood. After hearing Bob's words, the wolf growled dot. Then it headed back to the cave. Where they had just stepped out, Bob looked at the back of the wolf. It was like a savior, came down to earth and saved his life. I asked that how he looked to this wolf when he first rescued it. That's the end of today's story. Click subscribe for more interesting stories.